Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. If things get bloody, are you on my side or his? My father honors guest right, just as you do. You didn't answer the question. I wanted us to work together, but you refused. So now my father is doing this his way. If you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today, which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes, I suppose you are. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Corrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. The father isn't one for portraiture. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. We'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. from the other side. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. 
Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Whatever happens, just follow my lead. I will. You have my word. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's crack. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. And unlike Stark, you don't even have bodyguards. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Well? Why? You know, your father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say he was envious. My point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lud, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill. To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. You put it to the torch! This isn't the way to They're get what you want! They begin slaughtering your small folk! Maybe you'll even make you watch! Griff's no longer in charge of Ironrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. <gasps> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! Roderick, how could you? I'll gladly return. If my brother returns home, 
We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Frotry! I... I thought you'd forgotten about me. No! No! no. What are you doing? You imprison my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't do I this! I swear by the gods, if you hurt... The lady, get down! He's a child! Uh, a son for a son! This is not what we agreed... I'm him! Not me. If you want to see... Griff alive again. Do you think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Power! I want to kill you right now! But you forest has never learned! I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word, my lord. Kill me! Why? And we all die! Roderick, do something! Let me go! Everyone, please! I'll kill you myself! Help him! Fine! I'll take your iron wood deal. If you make the trade. Come on, Lord. Things don't have to end this way. You're lucky I no mercy. <clears throat> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall, and the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. We'll need to take those two out first. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm. It's nothing. Just forget it. Focus. We have to move. This mission won't wait for us. That's all you care about. Take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Then prove it! What have you heard? You just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she will. <laughs> 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 We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. 
What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way. Herself the breaker of chains. I think Croft got the easy job. on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. I've got it. Go! Down there? Hey, you listening to me? They're still up there, on the right. Take them out, and you'll be cleared to secure the beacon. They break through. I'll keep them busy. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. Me, you, Croft. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right.
Believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. You hear that? It's starting. High point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. But you kept your head and took Lud's deal. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. We'll celebrate once Ryan has returned safely. We still need to make the trade. You're right, of course. Still. You did well today. Don't lose sight of that. My lord, look! Where are the gods? Dahlia? Sir Ryland! Where are the Glenmores? Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I... I didn't mean to offend you. Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. 
Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. How courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her manners. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Tarnin? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. You see? She's so... flexible. And you. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. You claim to be a leader, yet your own people do not respect you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't sellswords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you were my brother, Rick. You're not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrid. Shh. 